Hello and welcome back to another video with me Mioni for Final Fantasy XIV. Today we're looking at a brand new glamour set added in Dawn Trail 7.0 which is the Turali Traders and Travelers Attire. This is essentially a five piece set with interchangeable shoes and chess pieces. There is actually only a Traders set of leggings, there isn't actually a Traveler set of leggings just so you know, I haven't missed that off deliberately. They didn't include one in the patch for some reason. So there are five pieces of gear. You might be wondering how to craft these. Well, essentially you've got Leather Worker 10 for the recipe for both of these shoes and Weaver 10 recipe for your chest, your legs, and the other chest there, so the travelers and traders stuff. The actual materials to actually get this include the Timeless Turali Cloth, these are actually confirmed to drop from the time-worn Lobo skin maps, as well as the large eight-player maps as well. Of course, there isn't a treasure map dungeon at the time of recording. That's coming in a future patch. So for now, you actually have only the chance from the chest itself, simply defeating monsters in new areas to, you know, unlock the chest. And this is one of the chance items that you can get. So this is the Traveler's shirt then, that's what that looks like. It has a midsection exposed. We have tassels and all sorts of other details around with all of this lovely detail sort of stitching and tassels on the sleeves as well. It looks pretty nice. I like the little bag on the front there with the tassel and uh, obviously we're going to be looking at dyes and things in just a moment, but I thought it would be a good idea to showcase what this looks like. Obviously, with the new textures added in this expansion for newer items, it's going to be hard to mix and match between older and newer, so bear that in mind. This then is the other version. So this is the Traveler's version. And as you can see, there is a lot less midriff exposed. It still is above the waistline though, so many skirts will you know, work with this, which is really good. And we've got slightly um, stronger colors on the sleeves to begin with, and more of a kimono look. There's a lot less details, a lot less um, extra extravagance on the front there, including a lack of that bag. But we do gain this uh, collar section with these circular objects as well, which is actually pretty good. Um, so let's actually have a look at the legs then. These are the Traveler's Colots. Um, there is no uh, Trader's Colots, like I said before, which is a bit of a weird situation, uh, leaving us with five pieces instead of two separate sets. The leggings then look pretty nice. Uh, the texture quality on this stuff is really quite nice, isn't it? Really exceptional. I love the shiny circles on the top there and all of the other details, all of that stitching. It looks so much more realistic than anything that came out before Dawn Trail. And also if you have a tail on your character, if you're one of the races lucky enough to have a tail, you won't be too disappointed by the cut hole because the tassels don't actually clip into the tail. I'm not sure about uh, Aura, but here on my Makote with my thick fluffer tail, uh, as you can see, it isn't clipping in there and it sits quite nicely. And for people without a tail, this is going to look exceptional as well. There's no enhancements on the bottom of your character, unlike some other outfits. It is just a nice, simple hanging outfit. So then it comes on to, uh, obviously, we've got to look at the shoes next. So we've got two types of shoes, obviously, the travelers and the traders. And as you can see, uh, the differences between them are actually quite striking. Let's zoom in with the G-Pose feature here. So the first thing you'll notice with these boots is they're made of leather and we've got those soles and we've got some stitching around the back, this red stitching by default, uh, going all the way the length of. Uh, one thing I did notice on this is the right foot, as you can see here, that I'm not leaning into, uh, is sort of like a 3D object that doesn't look squished. And then on the left side, it actually looks slightly skewed for some reason. I think it might be because of my character's stance, but it's something I've noticed whilst walking around with these, that they, they don't seem to be symmetrical in that fashion, which immediately puts me personally off of the boots. I don't know what's wrong with my left foot in this case, but there we go. And then let's look at the other boots, which are completely different, actually, completely different. These are a lot more uh, tribal, I would think you would say. Uh, at least that's how I would call it. We've got those circular objects with slight uh, mirror shine on them as well. That kind of uh, suede leather with white stitching and that very uh, dark brown sole there as well with that sort of red and blue and white there. 
interesting, isn't it? Um, there's some good options, obviously. I personally think that the boots might be the weakest part of this. Um, I really like the, the bottoms. So what we're looking at here is actually the traders set. So with the traders boots and uh, those culottes and the top. Uh, obviously, as a full set, this looks really nice. It does actually sort of encourage me to use this top more than the other one. I do like having that exposed midsection just above the waistline. I think that the belly button showing is actually a really nice, unique part of this. And it would go with some really nice skirts. If we change this to the traveler set, though, as you can see, we expose uh, less of that, but the trade-off is that we have a lot less detailed chess piece. So if you're looking for something that doesn't have that bag on it, doesn't have the back tassel, and maybe you just prefer a more simple sort of look, but without that midsection, then this is the way to go. I do wish we had a best of both worlds though, where we could have the exposed midsection without the bag. But I guess that would be needing an entire new set. So we have double dies on every single one of these. So I've gone out of my way to collect uh, all of the usual dies. Uh, we've got a lot of those. So let's do a four die preview for all of this side by side for both outfits. For the dies then, as you can see, the thing that actually changes the most, uh, obviously all of that extra detail apart from the red stripe there, as well as some of the green parts as well. <laughs> It's not too bad. I would have expected probably a little bit more blanket coverage, but as you can see, we're both going one direction with one set of dies and one direction with the other set of dies, so we can have a nice contrast um, actually using an absolute ton of dies here. It looks really good in bright, vibrant colors, which is not really a massive surprise considering the design of the outfit. I think you're going to get the most mileage out of it by having that kind of, you know, that almost tribal or you know, Southern American look to it. And I think it's really nice, actually. It's a really nice outfit. It goes well with the sort of idea of Urca Pacha or any of those sorts of zones. If you wanted to design something for like the Pelu Pelu, maybe. Uh, I really hope in the future we get the Pelu Pelu mask, like the beak hat. That's something I would really love. And I think I could make something to go with it with this set. But it looks really good. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed that because that took me a lot of time to set up, especially with double the dies this time um, <laughs> in the process. So, I, yeah, I really like this set by side by side. I do think that there are strengths and weaknesses of both different versions. But let's see how this works in the Glamour Dresser. Okay, here we are quickly at the Glamour Dresser then. As you can see, I've put this on a plate for the Traders and Travelers stuff. Um, obviously, if we wanted to see what different skirts would go with the top, that's the, the main reason I was interested in this. Of course, you're going to have quite a lot of luck because of where that uh, particular top runs out at. So it's not too low, which means things like the coin trails will actually work with it, which is a godsend. Honestly, um, there are so many tops in the game uh, that essentially do not allow for that. They go past that little point there, but I am pleased to report that it is just within the area of reason and there's no massive gap at least with the traveler's shirt so if you wanted to use that or if you wanted to use the traders one obviously that will work as well if you want a little bit of belly button there um, between you and the rest of it but i was really really pleased with the fact that we can use uh, stuff like the coin trails i do love the coin trail skirt um, it is something that i think personally goes really well with a lot of things and it should go well with a lot of other things but um yeah you could make some really interesting combinations of items uh in terms of the sleeves then because that's another thing that's probably going to be on quite a few of you's uh mind right now is is there any way of getting rid of those sleeves you'll be pleased to know anything that overlaps we can get rid of them with um so obviously if we went for something that's cuff like like the theogenic arm armlets of healing or something like that um and there are obviously some that you could blend into it the only thing is with the texture update um obviously older gear some of it hasn't been updated so it's going to be a little bit difficult to mix and match in terms of coloration um that's one of the other first world problems we're going to encounter but there is no way of uh immediately like replacing it without having something big uh you could go for something cuff like i guess like that but um, getting rid of the sleeves fully is going to be quite the task, isn't it? Uh, but of course, you can mix and match with some 
other bits and pieces. As you can see, it sort of frills up the edges, which is actually quite a nice detail, um, especially for blending gear together. So it's not too bad, not too bad. Uh, th these are the cuffs I usually use to blend pieces of gear I don't like the sleeves on. So as you can see, the leather cuffs there, that's what those are, the Griffin leather cuffs. Um, they blend together quite well. Let's just try and match the, the color just for a second in terms of uh, for reference. Yeah, so it's not too bad. The only problem is with the top is the bits that are undiable, right? You're going to have the same problem with anything else because uh, anything that isn't changed in color is going to be hard to match with. And that especially means things like patterns and stuff like that. You could dye that, but you've still got this kind of gray pattern. But as long as you're okay with that, um, and then you find something else that has the dual dye palette. But yeah, honestly, not too bad. I, I think the, the, the top is the most versatile port part for me. And yeah, that's that's my thoughts and opinions on the Glamour Dresser. In terms of the bottoms, yeah, we can obviously have big boots that either go on the top to sort of hide part of that, or obviously there's ones that go underneath as well. Um, cutting off at the, the side here with something like a you know an ankle boot something like that and thigh boots do that yeah so yeah not too bad so overall thoughts then honestly it's quite a versatile piece of gear i like the way that it allows for skirts and things i can imagine me using the top a lot more than any of the other elements the legs aren't too bad uh, the boots i think are the weakest point for me personally i probably wouldn't use those in many glams but the tops are definitely something i can get behind and I love the fact that we've got the belly button exposed on the uh, this particular attire. Which one is this again? This is the... I get mixed up very easily. Yeah, the traders one is the one with the belly button exposed. And the, um, the travelers one does not, right? So I'd probably go for the traders out of the two. But that's my own personal opinion. Let me know what you think about these items below. If you're going to go and do some treasure maps. If you're going to, you know, go and get these crafted. Or if you're going to try and buy these off of a market board. Much love. Enjoy the rest of your day. More Dawn Trail videos are on the way as I unlock them. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.